Hello everybody, this is Ogre Boy, and I'm going to be doing my review for the 1996 movie, Scream. Uh, with the new movie coming out next week, I thought I'd go ahead and revisit the Scream franchise and re-review them. I reviewed them a couple years ago, and those videos weren't in the best quality and everything, and so I thought I'd go ahead and revisit them and review them again before reviewing the new one, uh, which I will see sometime either... I'm hoping to go maybe opening night, but I probably won't be able to. It'll probably be sometime the week after it's released um, because of work and everything. So I'll just have to wait and see when I'll get to go see it. But the first chance I get, I'm going to try to go see it because I'm really looking forward to the new Scream movie. Uh, but so uh, this movie follows uh, Sidney Prescott, played by... Uh, Niv Campbell and uh, this movie picks up a year after her mother had been killed uh, and uh, she finds herself intertwined in this big mystery uh, when her fellow students start getting murdered one by one and uh, and she like becomes the center of this real life horror movie and uh, they're trying to figure out who the killer is and who's killing these students and stuff and uh, it all is linked to Sydney's mom and her past and everything and uh, uh, it has a lot of big twists and turns in here if you've seen the movie you know what I'm talking about which most people who love horror movies have seen this movie because it's like one of the most influential horror movies of all time it's like the biggest uh, horror movie of the 90s more than I'm pretty sure that you could say that it's like the biggest mo horror movie of the 90s and one of the biggest movies of the 90s in general and everything it kind of reinvented the slasher genre and it has a lot of meta humor in it uh, and it's kind of kind of a dark comedy as well as a, a good whodunit slasher um, but it, it kind of satirizes the cliches of the genre and everything and it has a really really awesome cast all of the the main cast members in this movie are really great in here especially Nev Campbell as Sydney she's just one of the best final girls in horror film history and she's just excellent in here but you also get uh, David Arquette and Courtney Cox who are also in the rest of the movies in the franchise alongside Nev Campbell is uh, uh, Dewey, the the deputy, and uh, Gail Weathers, who's this uh, uh, news woman, and everything. And uh, it, at first, she doesn't really get along with Sydney and stuff. She kind of gets a redemption by the end of the movie, but at, at first, she's kind of an unlikable character. Um, but you also got other really great supporting characters. Uh, uh, Rose McGowan is Tatum, who is Dewey's sister. She's really, really good. Um, and she's Sydney's best friend. She's really good in this movie. And fortunately, she is one of the characters that dies in here. So she she's only in this one. But I really liked her. I kind of wish she would have at least lived to be in Scream 2. Maybe Scream 3 as well. I, I, I think if they would have let her live and everything, it would have been... A, really cool way to have an emotional moment in one of the sequels if she got killed in one of them and of course you got Randy who's played by Jamie Kennedy he's one of the scene stillers of the movie he just is excellent as Randy uh, and everything in fact he, uh, one of my biggest negatives with Scream 2 is because of Randy if you've seen the movie you know what I'm talking about and I'll talk more about that when I get to that movie um, and then you got the two main killers in here uh, Billy Loomis and Stu Mocker, played by uh, Skeet Ulrich and uh, Matthew Lillard. Both of them are excellent in their roles, and they're, they're both really great at playing these crazy killers, these dudes who just want to go after Sydney and stuff. And we find out the motivations and stuff from of Billy's motivations and stuff is because of 
linked to her mother and stuff. And we find out they're the ones that killed her mother too. And uh, I love like the way that this the story turned out and everything. It, it just it has so many great moments and stuff in here and like the the dialogue is excellent in here and like the rules of how to survive a horror movie that Randy explains to all of all of his friends that they're at this party at Stu's house up towards the end of the movie and everything is just just a really fun little commentary on the slasher genre and so like I said there's just a lot of meta humor in here and the ghost face voice that's done by Roger L. Jackson is just really great and everything I love that it has this creepiness to it and everything uh, I love that about it too and uh, it just it's, it has so many great moments in here um, and also you get Henry Winkler as a school principal which even though I thought Henry Winkler does a good job playing the character I think the character is a little little bit over the top on and everything like he's kind of kind of mean to some of the students and stuff like the way there were a couple of students doing these this prank thing and he's like y'all are expelled and stuff it's like yeah they they were bad and everything but I think you're overreacting a little bit and he when he gets killed and stuff I don't know what it is but every time I watch this movie when whenever he gets killed I just find it amusing the the look on his face and stuff when he's getting stabbed just something about it is amusing to me uh, I don't know what it is but um, I, I just find it amusing uh, but I, I, I love the the story in here um, it has some some pretty good little moments in here too uh, just just uh, that opening scene with Drew Barrymore as uh, Casey Becker is uh, just excellent uh, one of the greatest horror movie openings of all time and it took inspiration from one of stranger calls and everything but I think this movie executed that type of opening even better um, but there, there's so much love for horror movies and like there's so many movies referenced in this uh, in this particular movie and a lot of them are ones that I didn't really fully notice until I started really getting more into the horror genre over the last few years and everything I'm always noticing new stuff in here but um, I think the the ghost face costume is pretty cool I, I actually have one that I'm gonna be doing as my cosplay for horror con next year I thought about wearing it in my videos and stuff but I was, it just I, I don't feel like uh, getting it all out and getting dressed up for just to do the reviews plus it's gonna be hard to kind of talk it with the, that mask on and stuff and I, if I was gonna do it I'd want to have the voice changer and I don't have that so uh, but I, I, I I love this movie it was one that when I first saw it I was afraid I was gonna think it was overrated because of how hyped it is and everything like I saw it for the first time back in the late 2000s when uh, I was in my teens and everything I was probably about 15 or 16 when I saw it the first time and I'd heard about it throughout the years like how it was like one of the greatest horror movies of the 90s and how it, it how influential it was and stuff I was like yeah I'm probably gonna think this movie is overrated but I really don't it, it, it is really popular for a very good reason like like this is a very influential horror movie and there were a lot of scream ripoffs and stuff in this movie uh, or from this because of this movie like there uh, some of them were really good some some of them were pretty bad I mean but you could see the influence in the slasher genre after this movie came out like it influenced a lot it even influenced other franchises like Halloween H2O which I thought was like pretty much just a Halloween version of Scream it was Scream with Michael Myers um, and then you got uh, Bride of Chucky had a lot of that meta humor and stuff in it which I think pulled it off really well in that movie and got other movies like urban legend and i know what you did last summer and there was a lot of other ones that came out during that time period that uh you could tell scream influenced but i i, I love this movie i think kevin williamson's writing is just excellent and uh 
Wes Craven's directing, he's, he was a legend of, in the horror genre and everything. He's one of the greatest horror directors of all time, if not my favorite horror director of all time. And he, he does a really great job with this movie. I, I really loved his work on it. And it just, it's a really great movie. Every time I watch it, I always forget how good it is and everything. It, it just, it really is a great movie. So. Um, and there's not really much about it that I don't like. Like I said, I, I think Gail is kind of annoying, but she's just one of the characters in the franchise I've never been a big fan of. Even in the sequels, I thought she's a, she kind of just gets on my nerves. There's something about her that I just never have been a huge fan of. I think Courtney Cox does a great job playing her, though. I love her as the character. I just am not big on the character, if that makes sense. I just kind of find her annoying. Uh, but And I also love like how in this movie uh, Dewey is kind of kind of like a kind of dim-witted and stuff he reminds me of one of my old neighbors that was a security guard like the way he acts and Dewey acts in this movie it, he doesn't really act like that as much in the other ones he is still a little bit dim-witted but he's not as as much as he was in this one and like he gets called doofus and stuff by his sister and everything but he just he, he's one of the things about the movie that I think is funny, and David Arquette is just great in here too. But like I said, this just has so many great moments and everything. Uh, and that whole third act is just excellent. It's the highlight of the movie. Like the whole third act of this movie is is great and everything. And my biggest other big thing that I would say if I did have a negative would be that the kills are super super memorable and not as creative as other slasher genre movies uh, a lot of them are just pretty much the stabbing with the knife uh kate or not casey uh um tatum's kill is probably the only one that was kind of creative with the garage and everything that was probably the the best kill most of them were just the stabbing or slashing and everything it, it's not anything terrible or anything that they have good gore and stuff but it just the kills could have been a little bit more creative and better i guess uh, you got chucky and jason and freddie who have all those unique kills and stuff then ghostface is just kind of kind of a got generic kills i mean michael myers i guess does too at times but even he gets more creative with his kills and stuff so uh, i will say that's probably the one thing about the whole scream franchise that I, I i uh would say other franchises have over it is the kills are better in a lot of them but all in all i think this is a really great movie it's like i said it's a fun whodunit mystery movie but it also is a fun nod and love letter to the slasher genre and it just it's a very great influential movie that all these years later is still uh held as one of the, like the most popular and uh well-beloved slasher movies of all time and it, it's one of those 90s movies that feels like a 90s movie and you can tell when it came out and stuff but it's still it's just really entertaining and everything so uh, i'd say i'd give it a 9.5 out of 10 it's really really great movie and uh I absolutely love it. I, I get why a lot of people love this movie. It's it's one of those that could be overrated, but it, it isn't because it just is it's so great and everything. So let me know in the comments what you think of the first Scream movie. Um, and I'll be reviewing the rest of the movies over throughout this week, um, getting ready for Scream 5. Uh, which I know is also called Scream, but I'm just calling it Scream 5 because that's what it is. Uh, but anyway, let me know in the comments what you think of this movie, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and have a good day, everybody.